this year was a, a little different process than we've done in the past. We actually met for three evenings in a row from uh, 4 to 9 or 9.30 most evenings. Uh, and it's a very in-depth process where we look at every aspect of uh, city governance and every budget uh, piece that we may or may not want to have in that budget. But, well, the East-West Corridor uh, study and project really is uh, probably one of the key projects for moving traffic through the city. Now, that is a bottleneck. Uh, that and Highway 20 are two main east-west corridors. So that is uh, really a project that we've been looking at for a number of years and we're moving it forward uh, you know, to make it a reality here in the next uh, five-year uh, period. And uh, Chaplain, Chaplain Schmidt, uh, again, that was a, a priority last year. Uh, it's a top priority this year. We think that's a, a area that's ripe for development and will help uh, with our city-owned casino, which we gain revenues from. So that uh, is an effort there to make an area that people want to go to, you attract more people to, to uh, increase the revenues of that uh, city-owned facility. So well, that, uh, you know, council is good at partnering with other entities. Now, a lot of that land down there, you know, is not owned by the city. Uh, that the property that it is, we'll certainly look at any options that may uh, come forward with other partners, you know, for redevelopment of that property. But it will be focused on getting more people to frequent Schmidt Island. You know, have uh, facilities and amenities there, activities there that draw people uh, to that island, which we think is another great riverfront asset uh, that could be, you know, equal to what we have in the Port of Dubuque. Uh, when you talk inclusivity, you're welcoming to everyone, and we need to welcome people to the city of Dubuque to fill those jobs that we're creating at record pace here. And, uh, you know, as we all know, baby boomers are retiring, and we don't have all the skilled workforce, the skilled workers in Dubuque at this time, you know, to fill all of those jobs. So uh, we're going to have to be an inclusive community that really is looking at uh, the cultures of the world, you know, being a part of our community and bringing that richness and in uh, culture to here, here uh, for other citizens. Does that fact. take on uh, somewhat a, of an added sense of urgency given uh, kind of the incidents that uh, we've seen happen uh, well across the country and then with the unfortunate you know cross-burning incident that's still being investigated? Well absolutely I mean that's uh, you know unfortunately those things happen on very rare occasions uh, not through anything that the the city certainly wants to see but you know it's uh, it's really, I think, uh, will be the, one of the keys to our success going forward as a community. Whether or not we can fill those jobs, attract those people, those talented people to Dubuque uh, to fill those jobs and make them feel welcome, have things here for them to do, and ask them to share their culture with us because that's what really enriches quality of life in communities.